In this lesson, we're getting hands-on and looking at subnet design. We're going to take a fictional network company and assign IP space to each part of their topology based on their needs. Don't worry, I'll explain it step by step as we go through. This one is sure to be interesting. In this scenario, we work for an IT company. Our job is to do the subnet and VLAN design for a customer. Let's start with what we know. Our customer has a main office with 125 users. Each user has a PC and a phone. At the core of this network is a layer 3 switch. This handles some of the routing within the main office. There are a few layer 2 switches connected to the core switch. This is where devices like PCs, phones and printers connect. The main office also has an internet connection. Traffic to and from the internet passes through a firewall. The firewall connects to the core switch. Don't worry too much about how firewalls work yet, as we'll learn about them in a future video. Many of the services that these users access are cloud-based. That is, they're managed by another company and accessed over the internet. We'll look more at the cloud in a future video too. Besides the cloud services, there are five servers in the main office. These provide services like email and DHCP. Aside from the main office, there are two small retail offices. Each office has five users, each with a PC and a phone. At each office is a small router and switch. The routers have a connection back to the main office. There is a router at the main office whose only job is to connect to these sites. We call this the edge router as it's on the edge of the main office network. The edge router connects to the core switch. Our main goals here are to decide how many subnets we'll need and what they are, assign IP addresses to devices, choose which VLANs to use, and plan the routes that we need. I hope this doesn't seem too intimidating. If you can, I encourage you to pause the video and try to work through this scenario yourself. This will test out your fundamental networking knowledge, so feel free to go back to the videos in the fundamental series if you feel that you need to brush up. When you're done, resume the video and I'll walk you through my design solution. Okay, so how did you go? Did you come up with a solution? If you're ready, let's go on and I'll show you my design. First, I'd like to point out that there are a few ways we could approach this, so don't worry if your design is different. The important thing is to understand the principles behind it.